Yes, Mr Hodge. Commissioner, you might recall the threat or promise that I made yesterday afternoon that I would tender a succession of further statements. Could I just tell you what those statements are? Yes. These are what are referred to as Part C statements. So they respond to parts of a rubric that dealt with the ways in which banks went about meeting their obligations or went about addressing their contracts to bring them into compliance with the unfair contract terms regime. I'm going to tender the statements from five of the relevant banks. So the first is the statement of Brian Zacharias, dated 15 May 2018, prepared in response to Part C of Rubric 3-6. Mr Zacharias is from the Bank of Queensland. The document ID is boq.0001.0088.0001. That's Exhibit 3.145. The next is statement of Sean Cash, dated 16 May 2018, prepared in response to Part C of Rubric 3-4. I think that Mr Cash is from Westpac. No, he can't be from Westpac in any event. He's from NAB and the document ID is WIT.0001.0050.0001. Exhibit 3.146. The next one is the statement of Chris Williams from CBA dated 16 May 2018, prepared in response to part C of rubric 3-1. The document ID is CBA.9000.0044.0001. 3.147. The next is the statement of Kate Gibson, dated 17 May 2018, prepared in response to Part C of Rubric 3-2, and the document ID is ANZ.999.0010.0001. Exhibit 3.148. And the last one is a statement of Ivan Marjeko, also of NAB, dated 16 May 2016, prepared in response to Part C of Rubric 3-4, and the document ID is WIT.0001.0051.0001. Exhibit 3.149. And then, Commissioner, the next witness is a Westpac witness, Ms O'Donoghue. Yes. Ms. O'Donoghue, do you mind coming into the witness box? And may I ask you whether you would prefer to make an oath or take an affirmation? Take yes, square the witness then, please. I swear by Almighty God. I swear by Almighty God. That the evidence I shall give. That the evidence I shall give. Will be the truth. Will be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the and truth. nothing but the truth. Do sit down. Yes. Thank you, Commissioner. Ms O'Donoghue, could I ask you to tell the Commission your full name? Kirsten Marnie O'Donoghue. And you are the Chief Risk Officer for the Westpac Group's Business Bank, is that right? That's correct. And your business address is 200 Barangaroo Avenue, Barangaroo, New South Wales, is that correct? That's correct. You've received a summons to appear at the Commission today? Yes, I have. Uh, Commissioner, I attend to that summons. Exhibit 3.150 is the summons to Ms O'Donoghue. And you've also made a statement, I understand, in relation to Part C of Rubric 3.3, is that right? Yes, I have. Uh, and do you have a copy of that statement with you? Yes, I do. A and are its contents true and correct? Yes, they are. Uh, Commissioner, I tender the statement and the exhibits to it. Statement of Ms O'Donoghue and its exhibits, Exhibit 3.151. May I please the Commissioner? Thank you. Yes, Mr Hyde. Thank you, Commissioner. Ms O'Donoghue, we won't be very long. I just want to run through a few documents with you. That was, that was a promise to both you, Commissioner, and also Ms O'Donoghue. You've been the Chief Risk Officer of Westpac since January 2016. That's correct. And in that role, you're responsible for overseeing compliance with regulatory change. Yes, I am. And you've made a statement to the Commission and one of the topics that it addresses is the changes that Westpac made to its small business standard form contracts since the amendment of the ASIC Act to <coughs> extend the application of the UCT regime to small businesses. That's correct, yes. 
And you've also in your statement told the Commission about some communications that have taken place between Westpac and ASIC since January of 2016 in relation to those yes. contracts. What I want to do is just, in addition to what you've dealt with in your statement, ask you to address or confirm a handful of other documents. Can I first bring up WBC.104.002.2610? <clears throat> Perhaps I can would be helpful. I, I'm afraid it's not in your okay. statement, I don't think. Do you want me to read that number out again? Thank you. It might be easier if you have a look on that screen closer. Yes, I, think, I think I will. To you, Ms. O'Donoghue. Yes. This is an email from Sarah Brooks. Could you just tell the Commissioner who Sarah Brooks is? Sarah Brooks works in our regulatory response team within the risk group. And so does she report to you ultimately? No. Is she not? Are you within the same group? Or in yes, we're in the, in the, within the risk family, but right. in separate lines if you if I you understand. like. All right. And what this email records is that you and Ms Brooks had a discussion with ASIC about the unfair contract terms regime? Yes, that's correct. And have you reviewed or had the chance to have a look at this email in the course of preparing to give evidence? Yes, I have. And does what's set out in this email although it's written by Ms Brooks, reflect your recollection of what occurred during that meeting? Yes, it does. All right, attend to that document, Commissioner. Exhibit 3.152 will be email um, Brooks to Lindbergh and others, 13 April 17, WBC 104002-2610. And then you say in your statement that on the 10th of May 2017, you participated in what I think you describe as a round table event with ASIC and the Australian Business, Australian Small Business and Family Enterprise Ombudsman and some other major banks? That's correct, yes. And can we bring up WBC.104.0002.2539? One oh four double zero two WBC dot one zero four dot double zero two dot two five three nine. Did you attend that round table along with Mr. Moyes? Yes, I did. All right. And he set out an email which contains a detailed note of what occurred at that meeting. Have you had the opportunity to review this document in the course of preparing to give evidence? Yes, I have. And does his note of what he sets out there reflect your recollection of what occurred during the meeting? Yes, it does. All right, I tend to that document, Commissioner. Exhibit 3.153, email Moyers to Holcomb and others, 10 May uh, 17, WBC 104 uh, 002. 2539. And then you also, as we understand it, attended a further meeting with ASIC on the 19th of June 2017. Yes. And can we bring up WBC.107.001.6563?
this is the agenda for that meeting. Have you reviewed this document in the course of preparing to give evidence? Yes, I have. And do you recall whether the items set out in the agenda were all discussed during the course of that meeting? Yes. I tend to that document, Commissioner. Agenda of meeting 19 June 17, small business loans, unfair contract terms, WBC 107-001-6563, exhibit 3.154. And finally, can we bring up WBC.414.002.0409? A bit difficult to read, but this is a chain of emails. The email at the bottom is an email from Chris Green of ASIC being sent to, amongst other people, Ms Brooks, and then she's then forwarded that email on to you with some commentary. Yes. I, I tend to that document, Commissioner. What's its date, Mr it's the 7th of March, two, it's the... Six, seven, March. Six and seven, March, 2018. 18, is it? Yes. Yes. Now, uh, emails between Brooks Green and others, six and seven, March, 2018, WBC 414 exhibit 3.155. Thank you, Commissioner. The only other thing then that I wanted to ask you about was this issue that's being raised in this last chain of emails is an issue about cross-default clauses. Yes. And as we understand it, there was a difference, there was at least a difference of view between ASIC and Westpac about the use of cross-default clauses and the intersection between those cross-default clauses and the UCT. Yes. And has that difference now been resolved? Has there been an agreement reached between ASIC and Westpac about that? Yes, there has. And what is the resolution of it? The resolution is the, um, as what was outlined in uh, Report 565, which is the cross-default clauses will extend only to the defaults listed within the non-monetary defaults agreed and enforcement proceedings. Thank you, Commissioner. I don't have any further questions from Ms O'Donoghue. Do you have anything, Mr Dark? No, thank you, Commissioner. Thank you very much. You. Ms O'Donoghue, you are stepped down and may be excused further attendance. Commissioner, could we adjourn for five minutes while we change around the council? Yes, I'll return in five minutes' time, somewhere between ten and quarter past. Thank you.